What's up guys? Today we're putting in new wheel bearings in the rear wheels, in the rear hubs. Back here, we're putting in new rear wheel bearings. Rear wheel bearings. So we've got some new FAG bearings. Popping these in, we're gonna use this. It is a master wheel hub and bearing remover and installer kit. We rented it from my local auto parts store and we will return it and get our full money back when we're done. So let's see how this works. Let's get to it. I'm gonna use Step Washer L and I'm using Step Washer M here just to provide some space. We'll put the bearing in the hub. Just make sure it's straight. And then we'll insert the tool here. The spacer we're using for the back is bigger than the bearing. It's only putting pressure on the hub itself so that we're not putting any pressure on the bearing. So we'll thread this piece in. I'm just gonna tighten it with the impact wrench um, just till it's kind of hand tight. Um, make sure everything's snug and lined up. Put a wrench on the back to hold this nut in place. And then we're just going to tighten this up with a ratchet. And check out how easily this bearing slides into the hub. It's amazing what you can do when you have the right tool. So we'll keep tightening, put this bearing all the way into the hub, make sure it's seated on the back. Um, so really just tighten it all the way until it's seated into the back of the hub. You want to make sure there's enough room where you can see this groove for the snap ring. And then we'll take our snap ring pliers, take this new snap ring, compress it, pop it in here, make sure it's all seated in the groove, release the tension, and our bearing is in place. It's simple. One, two, three, all right, now we're going to put the hubs in. Pretty much the same procedure. I think we're going to use a little step washer, step washer Q that only puts pressure on the inner race of the bearing. Let's see if this works. Hubs and bearings are in. So excited. Been wanting to do that for a while. It was all about getting the right tools. So, for me, that was this kit here. Anyway, next we'll put the axles in. I just don't have time to do that today, but we'll put the axles in. And we're so close to being done with this car. So, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and we will see you soon.